The Senate report has publicly revealed graphic new details. And the report says detainees were kept in total darkness, shackled to the wall in 45 degree temperatures. One prisoner died. In the CIA did things which I really consider immoral. Any activity we conduct is within the law. We do not torture. We tortured some folks. Our brutal interrogation techniques ever acceptable. We were asked to do some very hard things. Are we happy we did them? Of course not. Would we do them again? I would hope so if we found ourselves in those circumstances. I just don't think a country like ours should be culpable of conducting torture. I just think it's beneath our dignity. I think it's poor for our reputation in the world. I'm not going to ever accept the use of the word torture in front of what, what happened here. You, you know, I'm not going to fall to that. Somebody has to stand up and be willing to say, this is not what our country is about. We've got to have people who are prepared to say, Mr. President, you can't do that. It's illegal. We visit violence on our enemies, but we should not mistreat them. Even though they have done unspeakable things to our soldiers and to civilians, that does not justify us doing it to them. The reality is you have to look at it in context. I mean, if, if in fact you had uh, credible intelligence that there was a nuclear weapon planted someplace in New York City or Washington, D.C., and there was one person that would know where that bomb was located, uh, it'd be very tough uh, not to resort to every method possible in order to get that information. I just have to be frank with you. If some future president is going to decide to waterboard, he better bring his own bucket because he's going to have to do it himself. The agency's not going to do this again.